E and e here. We are in day 5 of the spoilers of Theros Beyond Death. Let's see the cards that have been spoiled today. And also we have the fifth god spoiled today in Mythic. Omen of the Sun for 2 and 1, 1 white. It's an enchantment, it has flesh. When Omen of the Sun enters the battlefield, create a 2 plus 1, the 2, 1, 1 white human soldier creature tokens and you gain 2 life. For 2 and 1 white, you sacrifice Omen of the Sun and you scry 2. Omen of the Forge, for 1 and 1 red, it's an enchantment, it has flesh. When it enters the battlefield, it deals 2 damage to any target. And for 2 and 1 red, you sacrifice it and you also scry 2. Scavenging Harpy. For 2 and 1 black, this is a common card, it's a harpy, it's a 2-1 flying. When it enters the battlefield, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Obviously, this creature can shut down escape. Archon of Falling Stars, for 4 and 2 white, it's, a, it's an uncommon, it's a 4-4, four four. it has, has flying. When Archon of Falling Stars dies, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Stinging Lionfish for 1 and 1 blue, it's an enchantment creature. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, you may tap or untap target non-land permanent. Drag to the Underworld for 2 and 2 black, it's an instant. It's an uncommon card. The spell costs X less to cast, where X is your devotion to black. Destroy target creature. If you have a, if you have a devotion to black of at least two, you can cast it for only two blacks and you will destroy a creature. It's a very good removal spell in my opinion. Shimmerwing Chimera for three and one blue. It's a Uncommon, it's a 3-2 enchantment creature, Chimera, it has flying, at the beginning of your upkeep, return up to one other target enchantment you control to its owner's hand. Dawn Evangel, for 2 and 1 white, it's an enchantment creature, it's a human cleric, it's an uncommon card, it's a 2-3, whenever a creature dies, if an aura you controlled was attached to it, return target creature card with converted mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard to your hand. We have here uh, a saga for two and one red, the triumph of Anax. This one has four chapters, four lore counters. Until end of turn, target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus zero, where X is, your, is the number of lore counters on the triumph of Anax. Therefore, turn one, when this hits the battlefield, as soon as this hits the battlefield, the first turn, lore counter. 1 gets plus 1 plus 0, 2 plus 2 plus 0, 3 plus 3 plus 0. Then, 4 target creature you control fights up to 1 target creature you don't control. It's a very interesting enchantment saga. Iron Scale Hydra for 3 and 2 green, it's a Hydra. If a creature would deal combat damage to Iron Scale Hydra, prevent that damage and put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. We have here a very, very beautiful constellation card. Let me, Caliph, beloved of the sea. Obviously, this is the translation for one and two blue. It's a star three legendary enchantment creature demigod. Its power is equal to the, your devotion to blue. Therefore, it's a two, three and more devotion you have, more powerful this card will be. Creatures and enchantments you control have Spells your opponent cast that target that this permanent cost one more to cast. It's a very, very good, strong card. This is the translation. This is the, the proper constellation card. This is in Italian. It's a very beautiful card. And these cards in foil will be quite expensive and very, very beautiful. Phoenix of Ash for one and two red. It's a 2-2 two -two Phoenix. It has flying. It has haste. For 2 and 1 red, it gains plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn and has also an escape. The escape cost is 2 and 2 red and you need to exile 3 other cards from your graveyard. It escapes with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Hactos the Unscared for 2 red and 2 white. It's a legendary creature. It's a 6-1. 
it attacks each combat if able. As it enters the battlefield, you choose two, three, or four at random. You can use a dice. Hactos has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen number. It's a very interesting and very, very curious card in my opinion. The first Iron Games for two and one green. This also it's an enchantment saga. It has four chapters. The first one, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. The two, put three plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. This is a rare card. The third chapter, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw two cards. The fifth one, create a gold token. For the time being, we don't know this gold token for what it's going to be used. Now, this is the fifth god. It is the sixth god, but the fifth god in the, the colors. We saw Heliot, the white. We saw every god. We needed only Tassa. Tassa, deep dwelling for three and one blue. It's a legendary enchantment creature, god, it's a mythic card, it's a 6-5, it is indestructible. As long as your devotion to blue is less than 5, Tassa isn't a creature. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. For 3 and 1 blue, tap another target creature. This is a very strong card, all gods are strong. Let's see which one will make it to play standard brawl. Commander, Pioneer, or Mother. Now, we have also the Constellation card for Tassa, Tassa Deep Dwellings. These cards will be very rare, very expensive, especially the foil version of these cards. We have Tassa, we have also Porphyrius Bronze Blooded, the Red God. This is the Constellation, very beautiful card. And I also, this was the last card, I'm sorry, this was the last card I'm going to show you. All these cards, all these constellations they are very beautiful, they will be very expensive and, they, and in their foil they will be very, very rare to find. Here is the subscription button, subscribe for my channel for more and more spoilers of Teros Beyond Death.